Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to show you in this video how we can uh, do data transformation after we apply AI Builder uh, and form processing, AI Builder form processing on our data. So I have a blog post or some introduction about how we can actually uh, do some form processing. Uh, I have an evaluation form that I'm scan them and store them in a OneDrive and then I'm use AI Builder with Microsoft Flow to kind of apply form processing to extract the uh, they extract the fields in the form and then store it back to the folder in OneDrive. So that was a, a blog post that I wrote about a month ago, I think. Yep, that was in August. And I exp there are two parts that actually I'm explaining the process of how to create an AI builder and also how we can actually use the Microsoft Flow to kind of uh, apply the changes. So. The last part actually was, uh, so if you look at the workflow here, the last part was actually uh, we get the uh, file from the OneDrive, then we use the model that we created using AI Builder for form processing, we parse the, we actually we process the JSON, and then we store back the result into the one. Drive. So it's actually we get a result like this or if I want to show you one of them This is one of the actually result from form processing that I get so I have a section Evaluation comment. What is that? Session title DAX a speaker name result. So you can actually see for the other one that they have the same actually parts uh, so I can open different one so you can see that for some of them uh, of course it does not able to open the uh, actually the uh, recognize all of the field but but for some of them is able so these are the different things that I'm try and I'm now I'm going actually to show you that okay we get the file like that how we can actually analyze it so now i get it this is my OneDrive. i get a result like this but still i need to use some data transformation to uh kind of uh help me to see that what is the speaker evaluation what's the title of the session and what's the speaker so in a short video I'm going to show you how you can use Power Query to kind of import all of these text and see that how you can transform and see the real result over there. So uh, before going through that uh, I'm just going to apply that one I'm just going to import just one text uh, to see that what sort of data transformation I need to do then I'm going to import all of them so i'm going to work with this file first so that the uh, evaluation comment was what is azure notebook session title azure notebook and what's the layout this is the result of the applying ai builder on my data now i'm going to actually to show you how it's possible so just close that one so i'm able to import it into the power bi I'm going to the uh, just show you that where i'm i not now so I open my Power BI and I'm going to the edit query to kind of bring the data there and data transformation. Going to the CSV file. The file that I want is this. So when I bring the file, actually, you see that it's show it first of all as a CSV file and it's ask me about what delimiter it should apply so if i choose different one you see that it still is a bit funny because it's considered this is a one sentence this is just one comment but it's considered as a two separate row which is not good because i want to have one uh, file as a one row not as a two rows because i want to apply some data transformation and as you see that if i choose different delimiter it actually shows me uh kind of not really good so what i'm going to do so i think so there's a problem that uh, actually by default power bi is going to use the uh, to convert it to the csv file so what i'm going to do i'm just import it first then here i can see is like that which is not good so i'm going to actually to look at the source so here is a apply the space that i can see so you see that it says that it's that this is my file content that i'm get from onedrive and you see that by default it has been converted to 
CSV with a delimiter column and also the other. So I need to change that one. There is a function in uh, Power Query name text dot from binary. So I'm going to convert the text that is binary type. So the file that I'm getting from there is a binary type that I'm going to change it. So I'm just copy the function here and I'm going to replace it with CSV one. So I just replace with that one and I don't need the rest here. So now it's actually, yeah, so you see that is converted to the text. I'm able to convert it using two table and uh, you will see that actually if I remove the rest, it's actually become one table and I can apply other data transformation like clean transfer like clean to make it as a one more so, so this is the one that i want because the rest i can easily apply other changes so for example i'm easily able to right click on that and set a split by evaluation column so i said that i want to have a, a custom one evaluation evaluation comment so the right most or, or for example, uh, based on the uh, session title or based on that sign. So this can be different part. You can kind of separate it. So evaluation comment, what is Azure Notebook? So I can apply another one, split column based on the another sign that I have actually put there. So now that makes sense that why in there actually I do that. So now you can easily kind of change it to evaluation comment, evaluate comments or comments. And this one becomes session title. And this one becomes speaker name. So you see that how is actually easy to change that later on you can just uh, easily kind of replace the value uh, evaluation comment evaluation comment with space so and also the dots one so kind of remove the uh, one and then just simply trim it so very easy this one again you can do the same so we have that but now uh, it's not just one file. I have a list of the file that I want to do that. So how can I do the same process? So what I'm going to do this time, instead of getting the data from just a CSV file, I'm going to do more and I'm going to get data from a folder. So I'm click on the folder, connect to that. Need to provide the address that is from my OneDrive. Put the folder path here and it's going to connect. So by default, you can use the combine and transfer data, but because it's going to convert it to the CSV file, again, I get the same problem. So what I'm going to do and said, I want to transfer the data. I don't want that you do that. So here I have a set of the binary with some other information about the file, like the when the file created and the other, which I don't need the other. So I just need the content. So I'm going to uh, click to remove other column. So I know that, that actually I have a function that helped me to convert my binary file to text. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a column, create a custom column here, talk it about the text or comments, whatever, or for example, a uh, form content better name and then I'm going to apply this formula that is text that uh, from binary this is the one that I get from Reza he's really good on the power query function so it's kind of introduced that one to me so I'm going to convert that so easily I get the each comment despite you see that some of them is a tree line but still I'm getting because they are not based on they are not loaded based on any delimiter they are just considered as a text so in this stage I'm able to clean the data remove all of the things so it's become really nice uh, some more data transformation trim and clean now I'm able to actually remove that one and now I can apply all of the data transformation so again same as the previous one I can split based on the column uh, 
so I'm going to set this a custom one. I want to separate based on the dash that I have at the leftmost one. So I'll separate the evaluation column. Now I'm going to do the same for the other one. That was again a custom at the leftmost with the dash here. So it's gone. So now actually I'm able to kind of remove the other part. So for example, I can say I want to again make it easier. We can do it by a different way, but this, this is a way that actually I prefer to do that. So based on that, the less command, so I can easily remove this, put it comment. Here again, I can do that. So a split, this is a split is much easier rather than the other, or maybe column at the rest. Again, is going to remove that. So I remove the column and I set session title and the last one. So you see that actually it's some using the functions there, I'm easily able to get the data and kind of easily uh, do the data transformation here and I'm getting all of them as a really good format so it's done actually so you see that I'm able to see that what's the comments about the session what's the title of the session so what is Azure Notebook Layla so there are some repetitions because I uh, kind of run the uh, experiment behind their uh, lots of time uh, so this is a process that we can do uh, i got a question actually in a, one of the forum about that uh, it's still this is this is a bit manual so it's not like the process that i'm showing here that is become using the flow to trigger that but still after that you can easily do that and uh, you can apply the changes of course there may be a way that you can actually add a new step to power bi i didn't check that one if i check it and i find it how to do that i will show it to you but this is the kind of the manual way to doing that so you got the data and store it into the OneDrive. Now you can use some Power Query steps to show it here. You can create a chart out of that and analyze your data. This is a nice thing about Power Query that you can do all sorts of data transformation here. If there is some menu here, you can use otherwise you see that how we can use some uh, formula in M and Power Query to transfer the data thanks so much for watching this video and then uh, i will write about this process also as a blog post very soon but uh, this is the video that i recorded hopefully in future i write the blog post about that thanks so much